In this video, we're going to be taking a look at customizing CorelDRAW. And we're going to be customizing CorelDRAW to increase our productivity when we're doing our design work here in CorelDRAW. So it's one of the uh, best things that we can do to increase our productivity. Now, what we're going to be looking at specifically is creating a custom toolbar and then also creating custom keyboard shortcuts for certain tools. Now, CorelDRAW is loaded, and I mean loaded, with pre-configured shortcuts for all kinds of different tools and different functions within CorelDRAW. What we really need to do, though, is simplify all of those shortcuts into one nice neat little package with the tools that we most commonly use for rhinestone design because if we can train ourselves to use those shortcuts we're going to be a whole lot more productive and for those shortcuts that we just can't quite get if we can create a custom toolbar that has all of our most commonly used tools and functions on it then if we can't recall the particular shortcut at least we have a custom toolbar just for us that we can utilize um, for the various tools that we use when we're doing rhinestone design so you can see here I've created myself I've created a custom toolbar which I have loaded up here so if I pull this uh, toolbar down you can see there is my custom toolbar. Now some of these options are, are grayed out and some of them aren't. And the reasons that the ones are grayed out is because I don't have anything selected where I could use that particular function. And that's why it's grayed out. So that's what I'm going to be showing you how to do. So first of all, there's a one particular tool that we use a lot and that is our pick tool. And it's interesting that the pick tool of all tools does not have a default shortcut assigned to it. So for us, now there's lots of ways we can customize. But when I uh, teach different topics, I try to teach it in the most simplest form um, that I think uh, there is. And so any tool, doesn't matter what tool um, that, we're, that we're using, if we right click on this icon, which in this case is the pick tool, now as I hover over it, you notice it says control one, okay? And, and that's because I assigned that as my keyboard shortcut. But if I right click on that and come down here um, and choose customize toolbar item and choose properties, it'll bring up the customization function but it brings me right to that particular tool um, and you can see right here uh, I have the pick tool right there so I click on that pick tool and click on shortcut keys and then it tells me that I have a shortcut key already assigned but if I wanted to I could just assign a new shortcut key which I could just hit control one right and it's currently assigned to the pick tool so if I hit assign it just assigns that control one so now anytime I want to go to the pick tool I could just hit control one perfect so I think about what is the next most common so this is my my thought process you can do it however you want but I think to myself what is the next most common function that I use when I'm doing rhinestone design and that is to draw a line just draw a straight line so here I would choose the two point line tool. Now again, this tool by default does not have a shortcut, but if I right click on that, choose customize toolbar item, choose properties, again it brings open brings me right to that two point line. You can see it right there. Click on shortcuts and then boom, I can define that shortcut just like I did previously. So I assign control 2 to that. So then, I think logically, what's the next most common tool? Well, the next most common tool is a curved line. So I would come in here, and you can see here I have the three-point curve tool. So again, right-click, customize, choose uh, the toolbar item, and choose properties. Again, it brings me right back to that point again. There's my three-point curve. Come over here to my shortcut keys, and again, I can sign a new keyboard shortcut. So now, let's just say I want to create something here. I can hit Control-2. I can draw a straight line. Boom. Then I can hit Control 3 and I can draw a three point line. I'll go back to Control 2 and draw this, and then back to Control 3 and draw this. See how much easier and quicker it is because I can remember those keyboard shortcuts because I'm using them all the time. Rather than coming up here, 
hitting the fly out and all that monkey business, right? So we don't want to have to do all that. Now, as a as an alternative, if I'm, you know what, if I just not good with remembering shortcut keys, at least I have the icons right here. I can just click and drag, switch my tool, then I can click and drag, switch back my tool, and I have that custom, all these tools just right there available to me where I can switch back and forth rather than having to go to flyouts and things. Um, so I can still get the job done a lot quicker than clicking the fly out, choosing two point line, clicking the fly out, three point curve. You know, that's a hassle. We don't want to have to do that. So using keyboard shortcuts, using a custom toolbar, definitely, definitely the way to go. So you just have to decide for you what you want. Okay. Um, now, there are several things that I think are important that I do all the time. Grabbing the pick tool all the time, right? So definitely assign a keyboard shortcut to it. Drawing a straight line all the time in Rhinestone Design. Get a keyboard shortcut for it. Doesn't matter what it is, just you have to decide what works for you and what makes sense to you and assign it, use it, remember it, etc. The next most important function is a three-point curve tool. Uh, assign it, remember it, live with it. The next thing that I think is important is switching between the wireframe and the enhanced mode. So you can see here on my toolbar, I actually have uh, the uh, the uh, right here wireframe. So here's the wireframe and here's the enhance button. Okay, and again, if I go up to the view menu and choose wireframe, you can see it has a uh, a keyboard shortcut assigned to it. I use the Alt key and W for wireframe, and then I use for enhanced, I use the Alt key and E. Okay? So, and I also have those icons here on my toolbar. So, the more that you work within Corel Draw, just know that you can come up to any function and just right click if I want to go to wireframe, customize, menu item, choose properties. It's going to bring me right to where I would find that wireframe function. Click on shortcut keys and assign a shortcut key. And I'm telling you, you are absolutely going to love uh, these shortcut keys because switching between wireframe and enhanced, we do that a hundred times a day when we're doing rhinestone design. Uh, grabbing these, the pick tool and the straight line tool and the three point curve tool, these are things that you do a hundred times when you're doing uh, rhinestone design. So you definitely want those functions at your fingertips in a second. All right, so now that we know how to assign a keyboard shortcut to our favorite tools, the next thing that we need to do is take a look at creating a toolbar. Because invariably, until we train ourselves to use the keyboard shortcut, um, we need something to work with in the meantime. And so I think it makes sense to create your own custom toolbar. And creating your own custom toolbar is really, really simple. So the first thing that we want to do is select a tool. So for example, let's say I like this two-point line tool. If I hold down my control key and my alt key, and make sure you do it in that order. In other words, don't hold your alt key first. Do the control key first, then the alt key, and simply click and drag to your CorelDRAW workspace. That creates a new toolbar with your new icon. And then you want to just go ahead and do the next tool. So the next tool in this flyout that we need is our three-point curve tool. So we'll go ahead and click Control Alt drag that onto the new toolbar that we just created. Now I have my pen tool also. Okay, so um, I don't assign a keyboard shortcut to that because I don't use that particular function very often. But it, but you know it is nice to have. So uh, I go ahead and hit Control Alt and drag to the new toolbar, and you can position it. Boom, right there. Okay, so you can build this toolbar however you want to build it. So under the view menu, okay, I want to have a wireframe button. So again, just same thing, control alt, click and drag, and we could drag that that menu. So go back here to view enhanced, right? Control alt, click and drag. Now I want a separator. You can see here I have a little separator icon between you know different sets of tools and that's just a, a preference thing so where you want the separator to be um, before 
that's the icon that you want to click after. In other words, if I click this icon, the separator is going to be before that. But if I click my two-point line icon, I right-click, choose Customize, choose Toolbar Item, or uh, yeah, New Toolbar, right? And I could choose Add Separator. And you can see it added that separator before the highlighted icon, okay? So that's just kind of that's just a minor thing if you want to kind of separate and make sense of your toolbar. Um, so that's what you need to do for all the various tools. Like I might want my pick tool, so let's go ahead and I'll I'll add my pick tool down here, and then I might want to separate because these are my two views. I might separate those, so I'm going to click on that, right click, customize, new toolbar, add separator. Now I have a separator between my pick tool um, and these two tools and the other tool I might add to this is my shape tool even though I know what uh, my sh keyboard shortcuts F10 to me that's just a kind of a goofy keyboard shortcut so I will add it right next to my pick tool okay right in front of that separator so I have my pick tool my shape edit tool obviously those are two functions that we use all the time and notice because it had a flyout that the flyout also exists here okay and I may not actually want that I don't I don't actually think I do want that so I'm gonna actually right click customize toolbar item delete that I just want my shape tool I don't actually want the flyout so I'll go ahead and hit control alt on my shape tool only and drag that down to my toolbar and now you can see I do not have the flyout I just have my one tool okay so definitely uh, creating these keyboard are these uh, these keyboard shortcuts and the custom toolbars um, is definitely going to be something you definitely want to uh, experiment with now once we have our toolbar created what we can do here is we can come in here and we can go to our new toolbar and choose properties right that brings up there's our new toolbar in and then we can actually give it a name so rhinestone work you know whatever you want to name it that gives it a real name and then also we have some other properties here so we can choose large buttons which I like to use and then you could uh, define a border um, and you just kind of look through these default button appearance we could have the caption um, only we could have the um, image only you know we have some other options there um, it says show title when when floating those are the various properties that we can have and so now you see it says rhinestone work and now we have big nice big icons there and we can drag that toolbar and we could dock it you know we could dock it over here next to this one you can see all those icons are there and or we could you know we could pick it up and move it we could dock it here to the bottom of our corral draw workspace which I don't necessarily recommend but you can you can dock it up here at the top so wherever you think it's convenient, I like to have mine on top. I'm just going to go ahead and delete this one. I like to have mine right there on top and kind of centered over, you know, my workspace here. Um, and then I have all my most commonly used things that I like to have. And just get in the habit of using those keyboard shortcuts, using those keyboard shortcuts, and use them and use them and use them and use them, um, especially for, you know, your simple things going back and forth. Uh, memorize them two-point line three-point curve your pick tool your wireframes um, enhanced view all those most common tasks that we do a hundred and hundred times definitely assign a keyboard shortcut to those and use them remember them and you're gonna find your work is so much more productive here inside CorelDRAW so I hope that really helps you out experiment with that a little bit and I think you'll find in no time you're going to be a lot quicker at doing your most repetitive tasks using the most repetitive tools that you use all the time um, so I hope you uh, find that useful and uh, go ahead and implement those on your system thanks for watching